So Wayne and I were talking the other day about how important it is when you go to find your mate, especially if you're on a dating app, that you make sure that they're in a fairly close proximity. Because we have a client of ours and she what kept choosing men to become interested in that were like in different states. And that is a really, really difficult thing to do because it's it's a takes so much energy and it's so expensive for you to be able to travel back and forth to see each other. And then if you decide that you like each other, who's moving? Right. Because it's it's a huge commitment. It's like if you're moving from a different state, it's, it's not like it's going to be easy for your family to drive three to five hours to come see you or you to drive to see them. It's like a big plane trip, huge commitment expense wise in order for you to be able to keep in contact with your friends and family. So what's happened to her in both cases is that the decision was made that it was just they were just too far apart. Nobody wanted to leave their job. Each one of them had really good jobs but they were specific to the area and where they were living. And they also had friends and family there. Who's going to move and take that chance? So we know other couples. Right. Okay. We, we, we know other couples where even though they were, they were apart, say, two and a half to three hours away, they were able to make it work. The way they made it work is they really took their time and... They didn't overcommit too early. They really wanted to spend time together, which because of the distance, it made it even harder. But there were some positives to that too because you know you end up spending time talking, possibly talking and going into deeper subjects about you know your history or you know some of the things you like to do or you know what your future, what you thought your future might hold for you. And, and so there's some good things to it too, that you're not always together, but preferably I would tend to think that you really want to be together um, mo you know, a lot of the time because you just need to see how that other person is reacting and doing things. And if you're not, then you probably need to slow the process down. Would you agree with that, Freddie? Yeah. Well, yeah. like uh, one couple I know, they he he's, was five hours away. They met on a dating site and she was going to very close proximity, but she lived in a small area. And like, you know, you got 800 people. It's kind of hard to find somebody. Yeah, you might be dating a relative. Yeah, <laughs> that's what makes it all tough. <laughs> so she expanded her area and then she and her guy connected and then they would travel back and forth back and forth the thing that was kind of cool about that is that they would spend an entire weekend uninterrupted because if like if you're in the same town you you might go on a date or you go hiking or something like that but it's not uninterrupted but when you make a commitment to spend a whole weekend together then you really do get to see how they react to people and react in, in stressful situations. And for these guys, they took like a year and a half, two years to going back and forth. And then the decision was made that because of the nature of his job, it was easier for him to move to where she was. And they've been together for 13 years and really have a great relationship. They really love each other. It's It's very... Uh, well suited, and because he's only like a five hour drive from uh, where he used to live, mm -hmm. it's not such a huge trek to go see your friends and family. It's not like we talked about getting airplane flights and all that kind of stuff. And then another couple we know they were just like two and a half um, hours apart, but they too, again, they took a long oh, time. Right. A long time. Yeah, just so, really got to know each other. Yeah, preferably if you're you're within a closer proximity, that would be more ideal. I I would think it's not, you know, it it's, it's not the end all of everything, but certainly being closer is better. But I've seen people have um, relationships that are across the nation, and they may not be in that uh, socioeconomic class where they can jump on a plane, spend the weekend, fly back. Um, that's really, really tough. The other thing too that about proximity that I think is a little bit important is 
you have um, certain cultures in proximity. Yeah. And, and if you're a West Coast person and the other person's from a, another area, um, cult, there can be a little bit of a culture shock and culture class. Yeah, definitely. And that can actually you know, harm the relationship until that's worked out. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. Because the other thing is the person might have, besides just their job, they might have kids, they might yeah. have parents, they, they might have their best friends, this whole social uh, group that supports them. And when that's not there, uh, it can create problems within the relationship. It and it's something that you wanna consider. Yeah. Um, luckily for Freddie and I, um, we lived in the same town. We, we met at social events and, and spent a lot of time together. Uh, we did that in group. Um, the other thing that was a, a kind of an amazing thing that happened to us is we came from Northern California, but we'd moved to Central California and met there. But we knew a lot of the same people. We grew up in a lot of the same culture and a lot of the same beliefs. And so that part was not a real stretch for us. Yeah. So the moral of the story is do your best to find somebody who's no more than like a, not such a terrible drive away. I know it's tempting when you go onto dating sites to be looking for, oh, well, this guy looks really cute or this gal's pretty awesome, but they're like in a different state. I, we have not seen that work. Not a all. lot. That, yeah. It just adds another layer mm -hmm. of complexity, especially if you really start <laughs> falling in love with them, but you're really tied to jobs it's or, or family, uh, caretakers and stuff like that. So you just want to be cautious with that. We're not trying to bum anybody out if you're having this distance relationship, but I would be having some serious conversations before I really got continue emotionally on, and, and yeah. continued on. So Yeah, and kind of make that idea, okay, if this thing works, who's moving? Right. So we hope that helps. We hope you got a lot out of that. And um, in our next video, we're going to talk about how people get fish. So you might be looking for that one.